मोहम्मद आलमीन Who is this? One W X C T Y Y H. One W X C P Y Y H T. Who is this? One W X C P Y Y H T. ओके लेट्स स्टार्ट आवर क्लास आई एम हैप्पी टू सी यू आफ्टर लॉन्ग टाइम ऑन जूम होप यू आर ऑल फाइन आरंट यू यस सर यस सर सम ऑफ आवर स्टूडेंट्स हैव बीन अटैक्ड विद कोविड-19 वी मे प्रे फॉर देम today i am going to teach you how to write the theme of a literary work theme theme writing uh now i am sharing my screen with you watch it now is shravan there shravan uh, yes sir yes sir now tell me uh, what is theme what do you know about theme um sir theme would be the uh, the underlying message of a poem good uh it may be a poem a novel a movie or anything else uh yes, then uh, tell me then tell me what is summary summary uh, jubair 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 respond what is summary yes sir yes sir sir summary is the uh, uh is a short passage uh, where we write uh, what thing we understand understand from a long passage or something what should be the length of a summary uh from 3 to 4 lines Uh, we, uh, suppose um, a passage or text containing 300 words what should yes, be sir. the length of the summary of this passage sir four to five lines highest four to five uh, 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 tell me in words how many words uh, will there be in that uh, sir around 70 words around 70 words uh, first thing we must uh, know that uh, the uh, uh, summary of a passage should be One third of its length. If a One passage third. contains three hundred words, the summary will contain around one hundred words. One third of the passage. It should be borne in mind. One third of the passage. Clear. Yes, sir. Uh, now, uh, Sunny. 
Sunny? Yes, sir. Tell me, what is the main idea? Sir, main idea. Sir, by main idea, we can say the moral, the the main thing, sir. Moral of any passage or any poem. Uh, uh, repeat. Sir, the sir by the main idea we can mean the uh, moral of any passage or any moral. Did you yes, say moral? Sir. Yes, sir. Okay. No main idea. Uh, uh, main idea. Uh, anyone? Uh, Jakwan is that uh, Jakwan over there? Jakwan. Jakwan. Are you there? File in. File in. Can you hear me? File is not there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. File in. Tell me, uh, yes, me. Uh, what do you know about main idea? Sir, moral, sir, moral of some summary or that passage. Okay, uh, you uh, you all uh, think in the same way. Uh, and then, when we uh, try to write the theme of something, we often confound theme with summary and main idea. Don't we? Yes, yes sir. Okay, main idea is what or who is being discussed in the text. Main idea is what or who is being discussed in the text. Theme is the underlying message. Message about life. A summary is the account of important details of a text. Not everything, but the important things. Now, Get your pen and paper. Today's topic is finding themes in literature. Let us uh, first know the Bengali meanings of some words that will come up. I think you know the meaning of these words. We know the meanings of all these words, don't we? Let us first see how the theme, summary, and main idea of a text differ from one another as we have already discussed. 
theme is the message or lesson or moral summary is a short account which gives the main point but not the detail and the main idea is who or what is being discussed in the text as we have said earlier don't do it they haven't to it sir sir can you please kindly repeat the previous slide this one this one sir thank you sir i am done okay here we can see the uh, differences between theme and summary and main idea today's lesson is our theme so what is theme as travel said theme is the message from the author themes can be found everywhere you can find it in literature in art in movies in dramas everything now it's important to notice the theme of a fable is its moral uh whom should i ask uh, ahnab jahin jahin can you hear me jahin ahanab jahin sir he replied in the chat maybe he has a problem with his mic oh uh mohammad alamin alamin is there ashfaq yes sir ashfaq uh, tell us uh, what do you uh, uh, what uh, what you understand by fable mm. what type of story is fable sir i'm not i don't really know about fable who who, who am uh. you know upo kotha sir what do you mean short story rahan স্যার যেটা অনেক দিন থেকে চলে আসছে একটা যুগের পর যুগ এই টাইপের কিছু একটা ফেবল বেসিক্যালি আ স্টোরি ইন হুইচ দা डिफरेंट एनिमल एक्ट लाइक ह्यूमन बीइंग्स ফর एग्जांपल উই হ্যাড দ্যাট মেনি ফেবলস দ্য ইশা হ্যাভেন্ট ইউ ইশা ফেবলস Ishab, that uh, the top sicko, uh, or uh, the uh, sly fox. Uh, if we are uh, uh, given a travel and asked to uh, write the um, theme of that travel, it will be its moral. Say, uh, I, 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 I have given you. Mm, uh, to write the theme of uh, um, theme of the story, the thastic law. What should be the um, uh, what should be its moral? Where there is a will, there is a way. Good. Good. So, uh, so we can see the theme of a fable is its moral. Clear. Now, let's move. the theme of a parable is its teaching shanto shanto over there shanto yes, sir what is yes, sir. a parable tell me what a parable is sir parable parable can can't you see parable on the screen 
sir it is like uh, small stories uh, like sir small stories with some teachings uh, i mean sir what some type lesson. of teaching what type of teaching sir it is uh, sir a story course, with what type of parable is a story we all know it must yes, be sir. a story but what type of a story a parable is a moral teaching uh, a moral or a spiritual teaching Parable. Yes, a parable is a story with a moral or a spiritual teaching. Teaching. Yes. Clear. Thank you, sir. Okay. Now, the theme of a piece of literature, or maybe it's a story, a poem, or a drama, or a novel, uh, and all uh, that, uh, is its view about life. And how people be, behave. If we exclude fable and parable from our list, the rest of the pieces of literature will have themes that will tell about the view about life and how people behave. Clear. So we need to remember three important things. The theme of a fable is its moral. The theme of a parable is its teaching. The theme of a piece of literature is its view about life and how people behave. Now, it's very important to know theme is the underlying meaning of a literary piece. Theme must be a universal truth. It must be a universal truth. It is a significant Earth. statement. Earth. Uh, Something can you happened. please explain that why theme is a uh, universal truth always? Uh, oh, uh, uh, yeah. If we uh, move on to our next uh, slide, we'll uh, see some uh, theme. Uh, uh, then we'll understand that these are themes and this is must be universally true. It cannot be otherwise. Sir, uh, sir is it in every case? And then we can uh, see this. Uh, uh, repeat. Sir, is it in every case? Every case. Every case. Is, uh, in yes. every case. In fact, we can say that theme is the truth. We can say that theme is the truth. Theme can never be other than truth. Thank you, sir. <coughs> now get to the point. Theme is not the topic. Theme is the point being made about the topic. What is said about the topic under um, uh, implied, in implied condition. Theme is a statement about life. Theme must be related to life. What we learn from uh, the piece of uh, literature, maybe it's a novel, a drama, or uh, all that. A good theme teaches a valuable lesson about life. These are very important to remember. Do you get the point? Yes, sir. you must know some important things. The theme never completely explains the literary piece. The theme will never tell about what is there happening in the story.
it is only one of the elements that are needed to gain full understanding of the literacy that means what we learn from that literacy that is thing what message the text convey to us literary text can have more than one thing sometimes we uh, think that uh, a, a poem or a story or a, a novel may have one thing no uh, a, a poem or a story or novel may have more than one thing there are, there may be several things in a poem uh generally uh, we see you know, one thing in a uh, short history but because it's a short canvas we cannot um, uh, um, have many details in a short history that's why a, a short history generally have one thing and other literary pieces uh, can have more than one thing. let us uh, let us uh, see how we find the thing before uh, uh, if, uh, before reading a text um, we uh, first um, uh, try to uh, look back at the common theme topic as i uh, have said uh, while i talking to um, i can uh, remember uh, his name we will see some um common uh, literary themes uh, in our uh, next uh, slides uh, then we um, will uh, uh, remember those uh, themes uh, and uh, we will uh, think uh, if uh, uh, these themes can be found in the text we are going to read keep this in mind as we begin to read the literary piece is before reading the text and now while reading the text we should think the theme may be stated or implied implied means suggested or underlined then uh, um, uh, what we do after reading we will try to uh, know uh, how the characters reacted to obstacles uh, in the line oh, sorry sorry what uh, important decisions the characters take uh, how the characters uh, grew and changed and what they learn uh, what they learn is our thing what they learn is our thing we learn what they learn and this learning is our thing this is the message that the author offers now uh, our common literary theme have a quick uh, have a quick look at the words uh, maybe these or these are all familiar to you do you find uh, any uh, the, uh, any theme uh, that is unknown to you imam 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 mohammad imam hussein Muhammad Imam Hussain Sir it is Alvi Alvi Oh Imam Hussain Alvi 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 is there Sheikh Sulaiman Yes sir uh, uh do you find any word that is unknown to you here no this sir common thing uh, there are yes, there sir. are many more things 
but these are very common i hope that these dots are very known to you very much known to you Uh, should I move on to our next slide? Should yes, I? sir. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. Let us find the theme of a poem. Very popular poem by Robert Frost. Stopping by Woods on a snowy evening. How many of you have read this poem? This... How many of you? How many of you have read this poem? Please tell me. These lines belong to the first stanza of the poem. Guzu, Giza, I think I know. His house is in the village, though. He will not see me stopping her to watch his roof fill up with snow. Any of you have read this poem? Any word unknown to you in these four lines? Now we have a paraphrase uh, in a prosaic form. So that we can understand what is said in these four lines of the poem. This is the things about uh, who owns the wolf that he or she is passing through. And is fairly sure of knowing the landowner. However, the owner's home is far away in the village, and thus he is physically incapable of seeing this figure fall to watch the snow fall in the field. Have you understood the meaning of the four lines? Now, move on to the second stanza. My little horse must think it's where to stop without a farmhouse near. Between the woods and frozen lay the darkest evening of the year. This uh, paraphrase is the speaker thinks his or her horse must find it strength that it stops so far from any signs of civilization. Indeed, they are surrounded only by the forest and a frozen lay on the longest night of the year. What does the word queer mean? What, 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 what? Tell me. What does the word queer mean? Q U E W R. Repeat, repeat. So what does the word Q W R? Queer. Queer means yes, strength. Yes, sir. Queer means strength. A queer habit, a peculiar habit, a strange habit. Do you sir. get the meaning? Yes, sir. Now, uh, move on to our third standard. He gives his harness, bells are set to ask if there is some mistake. The only other sound, the sweet. Of easy wind and down it goes. In prose form, the horse sets the bells on his harness 
as if asking if the speaker has made a mistake by stop. The only other sound besides the ringing of this bell is that of the wind and falling snowflake. Snowflake means the tusharpa, which the speaker likens to the feathers of Buddha. Buddha means Norum Palo, Rajamsi. Feathers of Guru. These are the famous four lines, the first, the last four lines of this poem. Many of you have, uh, if you have not read, you must have heard. The woods are lovely, dark and gay, but I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep and miles to go before I sleep. The speaker finds the woods very alloy, drawn both to their darkness and how vast and all encompassing this city. However, the speaker has obligations to fulfill elsewhere. Thus, though he or she would like to stay and rest over there, he or she knows there are many more miles to go before that will be possible. Here ends the poem. Now, Let us determine the theme of the poem. The last two lines, theme, what message we get from the text. This must be in our mind. The last two lines of the poem, stopping by wood on a snowy evening, suggests the theme of the poem. And miles to go before I sleep, and miles to go before I sleep. The important thing here is that the poet repeats the last line to create an emphasis and attract the attention of the readers. In this very last line, last line lies the allegorical interpretation. Allegorical, allegorical means uh, rupak. Here sleep may refer to death and promises may refer to our you. The poem apparently presents the picture of the snow-covered woods and tells the tale of a man who wants to enjoy the beauty of the woods but cannot do so for long. He has to go, sorry, to keep his promise. This is uh, what we have in the poem. Now, we will see what message the poem has for us. In our real life, we have many things to look at with awe and many other things to enjoy. But in most cases, it cannot simply, we cannot simply because we have other things to do in our short life span. So, so we have to move on. And this is the message of theme in here. Again, the woods are symbolic of the beautiful aspects of life. Remember, life. As well as life's temptations and destruction. As we have to go on our way to achieve our goals. So we should not get distracted by the fascinating things around us. This is all about the poem. And now let's see how to write the answer in the answer screen. What message have we got from the poem? We'll see it now. We'll write Answer to question on 11 in blue ink. Then, then we'll draw two blue lines, uh, two underlines. 
like as see you in the slide then we will write the message that we get from the text we have already uh, read these lines in our uh, discussion on the poem uh, look we uh, have only written what message we have got from the poem we uh, haven't written anything any detail or any incident that we find in the poem as we are done with writing the answer we will draw a uh, in line at the end of the uh, answer uh, to mark the to mark its end that means our in, our answer in, ends here now shravan is shravan yes sir uh, have you uh, uh, have you got to um, have you understood uh, what we uh, have learned today yes sir uh, the rest of the students yes sir Sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, now yes, sir. I want to know. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, now I want to. Uh, we have already uh, come to the end of our class. We have not uh, much time uh, left. Um, uh, let me uh, know. Uh, today uh, I was almost unprepared uh, because I don't know what I should teach you. Uh, let me know uh, the what uh, I should uh, teach you. The, uh, or uh, what uh, is there uh, left unfinished in our syllabus uh, i should uh, um, teach them uh, 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 during our zoom class uh, jubai jubai tell me uh, what list, uh, we have a lesson on conflict in our uh, english for today haven't we yes jubai yes sir uh, we, we have a lesson on conflict uh, have we uh, read this lesson in our class can you repeat conflict conflict i can really remember sir uh, 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 then uh, we will uh, start uh, our, our, our uh, unit on conflict uh, from our next class uh, do, do do you have any special preference uh, can you suggest any uh, then i will uh, go by you go by your suggestion have you any suggestion any of you any any no suggestion modifier. okay then uh, uh, we will end our class today sir modifiers modifiers what modifier yes sir Mod modifiers uh, let me yes, write sir. it down 11 a modifiers the reverse narrative the so sentence sentence connectors uh, uh, please please one by one one by one the Eleven connectors uh, one modifiers. modifiers one modifiers two sentence connectors connectors, connectors. okay connectors so, transformation sir three number three transformation transformation three. Uh, which part which part simple complex compound or uh, assertive uh, interrogative negative uh, which part Which part of transformation? Simple, simple complex, complex compound. Complex. Simple, simple complex, complex compound. compound. Simple complex compound. Simple complex compound. That's a good. The reverse narration. Complex uh, compound. Now what? Sir, reverse narration. Reverse narration from uh, uh, from yes, indirect sir. to direct. Indirect to direct. Yes, sir. Ah, so from indirect to direct. Okay, uh, 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 let me uh, first uh, finish them. Then I uh, then I will take uh, uh, more suggestions from you. So, uh, so uh, can I uh, end uh, our class today? 
Yes, sir. On which topic our next class is going to be? Uh, our next class will be on our next class will be on modifiers. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, tomorrow, 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 tomorrow is the next class. Yes, sir. Tomorrow is the next tomorrow, class, sir. Tomorrow is the next class. So our next class will be on modifiers. Yes, sir. Clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Salam alaikum. Then, Salam alaikum. Then I, I am leaving today's class. I stay home, stay safe. Never roam about. Clear? Yes, sir. sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. You too. Thank you. Thank you, sir.